फाइव टॉक्सिक एटीट्यूड ऑफ ए क्यू ए टेस्टर दैट कैन बेसिकली डिस्ट्रॉय योर करियर ऑल्सो गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टूडे बिकॉज दीज फाइव एट्रीब्यूट इफ यू हैव राइट ट्रस्ट मी यू विल रून योर करियर एज ए क्यू ए एंड दिस थिंग्स यू हैव टू रिमूव बिकॉज विद माई इलेवन ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव ऑल्सो मेड मोस्ट ऑफ दी मिस्टेक्स एंड देर वॉज ए हैवी प्राइज आई हैव टू पे बिकॉज ऑफ दीज एट्रीब्यूट सो वट आर दीज एट्रीब्यूट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो मेक श्योर यू वॉच टिल दी एंड बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ lot of things into this video all right so let's get started first number which is that so what happens is whenever somebody comes to you right you basically don't help as a qa i have seen multiple times this is what i have to use to do that whenever somebody is basically coming to me right for example product manager is coming to me that okay pramod can you help me with this documentation can you help me with this a requirement because you are a senior qa you are a qa who knows about this right i used to tell them right okay i am not available i am busy and something like this so i was not basically helping them into this what happened was because this is actually a very good opportunity i have seen whenever somebody is coming to you take some kind of help like please guys please that is very very important for as a qa we should help everyone this is very very important what you can do is if you are busy right now i know you are busy you have like lot of things to do you have a buffer time you have to create test cases execute test cases or probably automate test cases right but take out some time for the people who you want to help right so if somebody is coming to you even as a developer because i know many times developer also comes to me because they are new developer do you want to take help right give them a help trust me it will be a worth of this okay that is very very important second important point is which is blaming others as a qm i have seen multiple times where when even i have done this mistake where whenever there is a production bug guys i was just blaming to another qa or probably i am just going to blame to a developer because he has missed this functionality guys this is not a time for blame game and trust me the moment you start doing blame games your product manager your managers will recognize this it will basically impact to your overall performance also so make sure whenever these are production bugs or something right you take responsibility and even though it is not your responsibility but let them know in the document you can mention that this is a fault this is a combined fault and just make sure that you don't do a blame game blame games are not a thing in the companies and it will basically hamper your performance also third important point which is resisting the feedback i have seen multiple times qas basically when i was qa in a one of the startup right i don't take any kind of feedback for example if somebody says okay pramod you are sending the reports late right or you are basically sending a group of bugs together right these kind of stuff which is basically a feedback for me right you are not taking a buffer time or you are basically raising the bugs which are basically out of requirement or something right any feedback they are giving me i was just like this okay no feedback needed i am like a god and i will basically take care of myself right this is not a correct way trust me guys it is one of the toxic behavior that you have you have to remove this kind of thing take your feedback as a oxygen think about it why this person has given me the feedback and think about it and basically do respective changes and trust me it will help in your career also right so these are the three important things the fourth one is lack of communication this is one of the mistake the even i have done it multiple times what happens is i was not properly communicating right whatever the bugs i am raising whatever the projects i am doing right i was not communicating to my lead uh, i was doing is for example there is a one week that we have to test so during this four days of time i was doing nothing right i mean i was doing the work but i was not updating to my qa lead i was not updating to my product manager what was happening is there was no effective communication and they think that my visibility was low right and they think that okay i am not working at all so this is a very 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 bad or toxic behavior make sure you communicate very well with each other daily you can basically let them know about your progress you can let them know about what are the things that you are doing right and what if you have a blocker let them know this is very very important immediately you have to let them know the important point is very important which is i don't know what happens but many times this is one of the mistake that i used to do also for example if there is a one week time which is given to me i will basically collect my bugs and i will not raise them immediately what i will do is i will keep collecting the bugs and whenever i have a full bucket of bugs right then i will raise to a developer then this developer will be very pissed off for me right what happens because if you give them a bucket full of bugs right then then the developer will be very pissed off and he will say that okay why you are bringing all of the bugs at once if you have found this bug like tomorrow or uh, one hour before right i really you should give me these kind of bugs i mean on time whenever you are able to find it right so please 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 don't do this mistake i think this is one of the mistake that i have done also the moment you find bug the moment you find a risk the moment you find that okay this is a abnormal behavior in this application raise to the concerned authority let your qa lead know let your developer know that this is a problem that we should be facing in the future let them know and trust me it will give you a very good behavior also for the qa the last one which is the not documenting the thing i don't 
don't know why these people are making these kind of mistake. We oh, I have seen, sir, I am working in a startup. There is no need of documentation. What happens whenever there is a production bug? They will ask you, have you executed it? There is no proof, and you are gone. Right? This is multiple time I have seen. I have made the same mistake also. Document everything. Create a test plan if it is not required. Create a rough test plan. Create a rough test cases. Execute them and showcase them that yes, you have done. So documenting and sharing the update regularly is the most important task. If you are missing it, if you are not doing it, this is one of your toxic behavior that you already have. I hope you are able to understand. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video and let me know what are the different toxic behavior of QA that you know in the comment. I will read out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.